Let us sing ang Panginoon na sa tempo. transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Amen. Let us arise to sing our first hymn, hymn 65, and can it be that I should gain. upon all of us who are worthy of eternal condemnation because of our sins but thou hast given us your son Lord Jesus Christ 
to be our perfect substitute on the cross of Calvary. He shed his blood. He died for us. He was buried and rose again for our justification. O oh Lord, allow us to praise and thank thee with all of our hearts. Give us, O oh God, desire to come and approach thee with our minds focused unto thee. Help us, O oh Lord, to worship thee this afternoon with our hearts, O oh God, willing and are able to worship thee in spirit and in truth. And Lord, we thank thee that thou hast ordained that in a day, in a week, we can come together to spend this time to rejoice of thy goodness, thy loving kindness upon all of us. This is a rare opportunity for many do not know that they have received so much from thee. But we who are thy children has known and acknowledged that indeed thou art the source of everything that we have. And we thank thee that you have allowed us, O Lord, to come before thee, to praise and honor thee of these good things that thou hast blessed us. And as we come before thee in the singing of hymns, in the reading of the scriptures, in the hearing of the preaching of thy word, help us, O God, to come before thee with willing hearts to honor thee and receive this, O Lord, as pleasing, acceptable sacrifices before thee. Help us, O God, to worship thee and honor thee truly from our hearts to give you the praise and honor that you deserve. We pray and ask all this with thanksgiving through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who is art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. chapter 18. Actually, this is the verse or the passage that we have to meditate upon this afternoon, and we shall read this responsibly. Later, I will read it in Tagalog. Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 35, responsibly. Matthew 18, 23 to 35. I will begin. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. 
and his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him saying have patience with me and I will pay thee all and he, and he would not but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt so when his fellow servants saw what was done they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done then his Lord after that he had called him said unto him O thou wicked servant I will give thee all that debt because thou desirest to me shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant even as I had pity on thee and his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him together so likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother in the trespasses. Amen. The Lord add his blessing upon the reading of his word. In response, we shall sing hymn 278, Look to the Lamb of God, 278. that we have been memorizing for the past weeks Psalm 51 verses 1 to 3 Psalm 51 verses 1 to 3 let us read this Psalm and then after that we will try to recall in memory we will read first Psalm 51 verses 1 to 3 read it, read it. Psalm 51 verses 1 to 3 have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. 
blot out my transgressions, wash me truly from my iniquity, and bless me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Psalm 51, verses 1, 2, 3. Amen. So let us try to memorize, and later we will recite in memory. I'll give you a minute or two to remember again this passage. So let us try to read once more and then after that we will recite. Ready? Reading Psalm 51 verses 1 to 3. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitudes of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me truly from my iniquity and bless me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Psalm 51, verses 1 to 3. Okay, those who can memorize, you can try to recite in memory. Those who can't, you can look down with your own basahin. Okay, ready, start. Psalm 51, verses 1 to 3. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me truly from my iniquity, and blush me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever informed for me. Psalm 51, verses 1 to 3. Okay, let us go one more time. Really begin. Psalm 51, verses 1 to 3. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me truly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Psalm 51, verses 1 to 3. Amen. So let us try to remember this. This is a good verse or passage for us to reflect upon as we ask for forgiveness of our sins. That we are not just sinning against our brothers, our brethren, our friends, our relatives, but above all, when we sin against one another, we sin against God. So therefore, when we ask for forgiveness, we also ask for the forgiveness of our sins before the Almighty God. And uh, now, for our announcements, let us remember that this month, or next month, July, we will have our anniversary Thanksgiving Cum Gospel Meeting Service. So I would like to encourage everyone to invite as many as we can to attend this. We are booking for an early dinner during this uh, program and we pray that we can finish as early as 4.30 so that there will be more time for those visitors to have fellowship with us. And so we pray you can invite Next week, we'll be providing a, uh, be uh, small bags of, of tracks and invitations for each one, so you can bring it along with you, not only during Sundays, but whenever you go outside and you see some Filipinos, you can give out the track immediately. So we will put it in a, a plastic small bag so that it will not be uh, damaged or destroyed and you can bring it along 
pupunta kayong market or pupunta kayong malls or saan kayo pupunta, you can bring it along with you and whenever you can see some of your Philippine or yung mga kababayan natin, you can just give out this check. So please invite. This is our opportunity and pastor will be bringing a message prepared to meet thy God. Uh, this is a message that really is important for all of us dahil maraming mga kababayan natin, they are not so aware, they are not even aware of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the judgment that will come after death. So let us be loving and compassionate to our countrymen to invite them that they may hear the word of God to let them prepare, prepare to meet their God, our God. So with these announcements, again, I would like to invite others who are interested to join the Filipino Evangelistic Band. We are resuming and we are continuing this evangelism every after the worship on in the morning. So those who are able, please come and join with us. And um, for today's um, serving of refreshment, and we thank God that Mil G is here, I think. You can ask people from Jasmine also. Okay, so thank God for uh, your presence. And we pray the Lord will bless us with more of our countrymen later, next time, so that we can bring God's word unto them. It is important, as later we will know of the power of the word of God in our um, nuggets of wisdom. It's now let's proceed to our next uh, part of our worship and that is on worshiping God in the giving of our tithes and offerings. Please remember this is a privilege for the believers. It is not compulsory for those who do not understand what it means to give. And with this we shall sing hymn 407. Jesus calls us. in heaven thou art indeed full of grace because thou hast given us and granted us so many blessings in spite of our unworthiness Lord thou hast given us life thou hast given us food thou hast given us shelter 
even the many things that we receive from Thee, bonuses, O oh God, of the things that we don't even expect from Thee. And Lord, here we are, giving back only a portion of what Thou hast given us. We thank Thee, Lord, that You have given us this great opportunity to give back unto Thee what Thou hast provided for us. Help us, O oh Lord, that as we return this portion, we have the hearts of trust and confidence that you will continue to pour upon us thy richest blessings O oh lord thou art faithful thou art loving thou art kind thou art all provider of all the things that we need in our lives here on earth and we trust O oh god that we shall never lack and find wanting in our lives because thou wilt provide all of our needs even before we ask these things from thee help us to be thankful unto thee give us hearts full of gratitude and appreciation of thy goodness upon our lives and we pray lord that as we come before thee in the hearing of thy word you will also bless us with spiritual blessings help us O oh lord to hear from thee and let our ears hear thy voice and allow us O oh god to be pricked that thy voice will enter into our ears and our hearts that we will not only be hearers of their words but doers of it be with us O lord we pray and ask all this in jesus name amen, amen. Let me read to you a portion of the scriptures in Tagalog so that we can have a little bit of idea of itong ating passage for meditation this afternoon. I know you understand well English, but I believe we can understand more if we hear our own language or our own dialect. So I'll read to you Matthew 18, 23 to 22, 35 in Tagalog. Sa makatwit, ang kaharian ng langit ay itinulad sa isang di kilalang hari na nagnais kumuha ng sulit sa kanyang mga lingkod. At nang siya ay nakapagsimulang bumilang, ang isa ay dinala sa kanya na may utang sa kanya ng sampung libong mga talento. Datapo at palibhasa siya ay walang pambayad, ay iniutos ng kanyang Panginoon na siya ay may pagbili at ang kanyang babaeng asawa at mga anak at lahat ng kanyang pag-aari at ang pagbabayad ay magawa. Ang lingkod sa mga tweet ay nagpatira pa at sinamba siya, sinasabing, Panginoon, magkaroon ng kati katiyagaan sa akin. At babayaran kitang lahat Sa gayon ang Panginoon ng lingkod na iyon Ay nagkaroon ng kaawaan At pinawalan siya at pinatawad ang kanyang utang Datapuan ang lingkod ding ito ay lumabas at, at nasumpungan ang isa sa kanyang kapwa mga lingkod Na may utang sa kanya ng isang daang dinaryo At kanyang hinawakan siya at sinakal siya sa lalamunan Sinasabing Bayaran mo ako ng iyong pagkakautang at ang kanyang kapwa lingkod ay nagpatira pa sa kanyang paanan at namanhik sa kanya sinasabing magkaroon ng katiyagaan sa akin at babayaran, at babayaran kitang lahat. At hindi siya pumayag kundi nagtungo at itinapon siya sa bilangguan hanggang sa siya ay nakapagbayad ng utang. Kaya nang makita ng kanyang kapwa mga lingkod kung ano ang nangyari, siya ay lubhang nalungkot at lumapit at sinabi sa kanilang Panginoon ng lahat ng nangyari. Sa gayon ang kanyang Panginoon pagkatapos niyang siya ay naipatawag ay sinabi sa kanya, Oo, oh, ikaw na masamang lingkod. Pinatawad kita sa lahat ng utang dahil hiniling mo sa akin. Hindi ba dapat na ikaw rin ay nagkaroon ng kaawaan sa iyong kapwa lingkod gaya ng pagkakaroon ko ng awa sa iyo? 
at nagalit ang kanyang Panginoon at ibinigay siya sa mga tagapagpahirap hanggang sa siya ay dapat makapagbayad sa lahat ng nararapat sa kanya. Kaya gayon din ang gagawin ng aking makalangit na ama sa inyo. Kung kayo mula sa iyong mga puso ay hindi magpatawad ng bawat isa sa kanyang kapatid ng kanilang mga paglabang. Amen. The Lord had His blessing upon the reading of His Word. The title for our meditation this afternoon is The Example of Forgiveness. If you will notice, Matthew chapter 18 is all about forgiveness of sins, asking for the uh, forgiveness, and uh, there is discipline, there is repentance, there is also giving of forgiveness. Now we understand dito sa verse 15, dito tayo nagsimula about forgiveness and this was the enactment of forgiveness. Dito ginawa at paano ba, ano bang purpose kung bakit tayo mag patawad sa kasalanan ng tao. Now the purpose and the reason was here given, it is for reconciliation. The purpose is reconciliation. Hindi ka magpatawad ng tao, basta na lang gusto mo ng peace. Para walang away, para walang gulo, then papatawarin ko na lang siya. Kahit na walang reconciliation. Kahit na walang pagkaintindihan na ako'y nagkasala, ako'y nahingi ng patawad, at ngayon magkabalikan yung loob natin. And that is always the problem. We want peace. At yung mga mag-asawa, peace nga, hindi nag, hindi nag uh, no, they, they are so silent, hindi nag-uusapan kahit na meron pang iba, mga isang buwan, dalawang buwan. Para ng mga mangmang, sign language na lang. No? Kung gusto kumain yung isa, peace. Peace dahil walang away, pero galit sa ano, puso. Now the purpose, the enactment of forgiveness is reconciliation. The purpose para maibalik. Meron mga kaibigan, kahit na si Gain na nga sa, sa pamilya o kahit sa workplace. In the workplace, some people will just be uh, civil. No? Tatawag ng civil yung relationship nila. Yung bang, okay lang, good morning sir, good morning ma'am. Pero pagkatapos yan, talagang may galit para sa, ano, hindi nagagalit sa har Ay, na mal, ang sarap ng smile. Pero sa loob-loob, galit. Dito sa church, dito sa fellowship natin, siguro may ibang na-force na lang na kailangan talagang pupunta ako doon dahil hihahanapin ako nila pag wala ako doon. Pero pag makita yun, ako, ano na naman? Wala yung gaan ako mag-worship ng Panginoon dahil yung tao nito. Pero walang pa, pero pag sa uh, harapan, uh, ganda na nga doon, smile. Walang reconciliation. <laughs> The enactment of forgiveness is towards reconciliation. That's why sinabi ng Panginoon, Sabihin mo sa kayong kapatid, If thy brother shall trespass against thee, This is in verse 15, You go to him, At kung ayaw niya, Dala ka ng iba, Para ma, talaga ma-solve itong problema na ito. Kung ayaw pa rin niya, Dalhin mo sa simbahan, Para may reconciliation. That's the purpose. Para maiuli, Para mabalik yung Loob ng bawat isa, there is real peace, there is real understanding, there is real forgiveness. And then after that, we talk about the essence of forgiveness. Ano ba yung parang root, yung ugat ng pagpapatawad? Sabi ng Panginoon dito, when you forgive, you will not limit to seven times seven, but seventy times seven. That means Jesus is saying as much as many opportunities na makapagbigay ka ng forgiveness, you must give it. Because the essence of forgiveness is Christ-like forgiveness. The love of Jesus Christ. For us, for us, even as Christians, alam natin na kahit tayo mga Christians na we are still sinning every day. Hindi lang 7 times 7, hindi lang 70 times 7, but more, even more than that. Did you realize that as believers, as Christians? 
Kasi marami sa ating mga Christians din, mga believers, we think we are holier than others, we are cleaner than others, we are saintly than others, that we look down on others kung sila'y magkasala. Hindi natin kinikilala, hindi natin nakikita yung sarili natin. We are not looking in ourselves and even we are more and greater sinners than we they are because we don't know God, we know God, but yet we keep on sinning. And when we realize that still God is so patient to us and so long-suffering to forgive us of all our sins, kahit na nagkasala tayo, why are we not going to forgive others? Ito na yung binigay na example ng Panginoon dito. So, when the Lord Jesus Christ says, you have to forgive 70 times 7, you will forgive as many as of, of, uh, opportunities na bibigay ng Panginoon para tayo makapagbigay ng Forgiveness to others, we have to give. We have to forgive. And then, ngayon, binigay niya itong example. Dahil parang hindi natin ma makuha yung sinasabi ng Panginoon kung walang vivid or exact example na makikita natin. And we have to see this good example here. And itong example ng forgiveness dito, I, it is to be understood as a warning not to unbelievers but to the Christians and for those who do not yet know Jesus Christ ito yung mag-encourage sa kanila to be in Christ, to receive Christ dahil ang ganda pala maging Christian ang ganda pala maging anak ng Panginoon, ang ganda pala ng buhay na my peace when you are in the Lord Jesus Christ because when you are outside of Christ, napakagulo yung buhay mo when, you are, when your heart is unforgiving when your mind is still troubled by the many sins of other people around you, naku, hindi ka makatulog, na insomnia ka, hindi ka wala kang ganang kumain dahil pagkuha mo ng kutsara mo, pagtingin mo sa kanin, yung mukha ng kahawin mo yung nakikita, parang nawala ng gana. Sarap pala man ang adubong ito, pero ang adubong ito parang mukha niya, no? no? Mawala yung gana mo. No? You'll, be, you'll lose your appetite because you remember this person, that is because you have not forgiven. You still hate, you still have grudges, you still have this burden in your heart to take revenge. And so, lahat ng buhay mo apiktado. Kaya nga, may mga concern sa ibang mga tao na when you are sick, when you are not well, na hindi ma-diagnose ng mga doktor, some people would ask, meron ka bang somebody na talagang you hate? Yung unforgiving spirit because it will affect your truly your uh, your psychosomatic or yung parang sa, sa mentality at sa physical na buhay mo because it will eat you up parang kanker yan parang isang sakit na uh, kumakain sa you that will devour you and that will cause you to be sleepless to to have no appetite to have no desire to work not even to have the desire to talk to other people because of your unforgiving spirit now as christians ano bang dapat natin gawin dahil it is focused on the Christians. Why we know that this is focused on Christians? Here in verse 23, sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos, Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king. So when the Lord Jesus Christ gave this example, and specifically for those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, because he says here, the kingdom of heaven. Now nobody will come into the kingdom of heaven except he believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says it is about those people who are entering into the kingdom of heaven, these are about those people who received and believed me as your Lord and Savior, and this is specifically pointing to the believers. Why? Because only believers can truly forgive. Dahil sila yung mga pinapatawad. Sila yung binigyan ng forgiveness ng Panginoon. Only those who have received forgiveness can forgive. Those who have not received forgiveness, they might forgive, but that is not the real, for genuine forgiveness because they have not received the forgiveness from God. But Christians who truly have received such real, genuine, true forgiveness must be able to give forgiveness and to grant forgiveness to others because they have experienced such blessing from the Lord. 
So first point na, na dapat nating ma remember is that forgiveness is only or real forgiveness or an example of forgiveness can be done by those who are heaven bound people. Ano ba yung heaven bound? Yung heaven bound, yung pang mga tao, they have the assurance of entering into God's kingdom. In, in fact, they are part of the kingdom of heaven. So these are people who are going to be in heaven, people who are believers, people who are saints, people who are Christians, people who are truly in the Lord Jesus Christ. And this example was given because he says here, it is an example that will cause them to remember kung ano talaga yung pagpapatawad. Because only these people who have received forgiveness from God can grant forgiveness to others. And only those who are forgiven can perform. Sila lang yung makagagawa ng forgive, pagpo-forgive sa iba. Yung hindi naka-experience ng forgiveness, they cannot forgive others. Those who have received forgiveness from the Lord Jesus Christ, they experience forgiveness, they can share that forgiveness to others. Okay, this is the real forgiveness. Think, uh, think that this is talking about forgiveness yung totoo, that it will reconcile, that it, is, uh, that it will give a forgiveness that is Christ-like. So, we have now an account, a story, which will, I pray, will give us a real picture of what it means to forgive. Dahil daw, may isang tao, he was known here as a certain king, actually he's just a ruler, one who owns a lot of acres of land, probably some uh, vineyards and whatever, hectares, hectares of farms that he owns, and so he has many people under him, and there was a time that he take account of his servants. Dalhin mo nga yung lahat ng mga lingkod dito, yung mga servants dito. Titingnan ko kung ano yung mga nagawa nyo, ano yung nagagasto nyo, ano magkano yung nai-invest nyo dyan, mayroon bang gain, mayroon bang profit, mayroon bang anong uh, babayaran natin. So when it was taken into account, uh, kinikwinta na yung ano, kung ano yung mga nagagasto nila, ano yung mga kailangan nilang ibalik doon sa kanilang amo, then this one person thank God hindi sinasabi dito Pinoy kurakot itong tao na to when he had begun to reckon one was brought unto him which owed him 10,000 talents na magkano itong 10,000 talents now please help me dahil hindi ako magaling sa mathematics and one talent is considered as 6,000 dina, uh, dinari, dinari. Now, one dinari in those days, one dinarium, in those days, ay sweldo ng one day ng isang tao. So, ipagpalagay na natin, one day salary itong one dinari. Okay? So, meaning, one talent is equals to 6,000 denarii. So one talent is equals to 6,000 days of wages. Diba? Tama ba yung example ko? Tama ba yung ginamit kong example? Because one talent is equal to 6,000 denarii. And one denarium is equal to one day wage. So therefore, one talent is equals to 6,000 days of wages. Right? So, 6,000 days. Pagpalagyan na natin, bawat araw nakareceive ka ng sweldo. So, divided, divided by 365 days a year. So, ilang taon itong 6,000 divided by 365? Naging parang 16 years. 16. Oh, 16 years. That is 16 years worth of wages sa one talent. Now, how many talents itong utang ng tao nito? Huh? 10,000. So, 10,000 times 16 is 
course, 160,000 years. Yung utang niya is equivalent to 160,000 years of wages. Ilang million yun? I mean, God, the Lord Jesus Christ, gave this example to show na wala talagang hope na mababayaran to. Why? Kahit na magtrabaho itong tao na to, hindi siya aabot ng kahit 1,000 years. 1,000 years na mababayaran niya kahit na kunti ng kanyang utang, how much more for 160,000 years worth of wages? Nakikita niya yung gano'ng ga, ga, kalaki yung utang niya? 160,000 years worth of wages yung utang niya. Kaya sinabi dito na kahit na sinabi ng kanyang Panginoon when the Lord says and He commanded that even His wife and His children and all that He has they were sold, hindi pa pwedeng bayaran yung kanyang utang. And so it shows here, the Lord wanted really us to see the impossibility of this person to pay. There is no hope, there is no possibility, there is no chance, there is no other probability where this person can pay this debt. Wala talagang kahit na lang katiting na opportunity or private or or uh, probability na makabayad siya ng utang nito. Yet, when the servant knew na wala siyang magagawa na hindi siya makabayad, he fell down and worshiped him. Itong salitang fell down dito ay talagang nakadapa siya sa harapan ng kanyang Panginoon. Yung nakadapa siya, he was probably crying and weeping and asking and saying, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay thee. O, babayaran kita. This is, in the Japanese word, usubakashi. This is really a lie. Talagang wala. Pa, paano niya mababayaran ito? 160,000 years worth of wages? Nag-promise pa siya na babayaran? Sinasabi nila sana niya, Lord, please forgive me. Hindi ko kaya itong babayaran. Wala na talagang hope na mababayaran ko ito. Should have done that and said that honestly. Nagsabi pa siyang, I will pay thee all. No hope. There is no chance. There is no probability he can pay this amount. Wala talaga. Then, tingnan niyo yung awa ng kanyang master ng kanyang amo. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him all the debt. Wow! Ang ganda, ang galing talaga ng amo na ito. Hindi siya nakabayad kahit na kunti. Pinalabas siya, he was released, and he was forgiven. That's why we can see here that not only this forgiveness is help for the heaven-bound people, this is a forgiveness that is heaven-sourced. Meaning the forgiveness is galing talaga sa langit because one cannot forgive this here on earth. Dahil dito sa earthly or this in this world, kahit, na lang, kahit anong makukuha natin, kunin na natin lahat para lang kahit kunti mababayaran yung kanyang utang. Di ba? Ganun tayo. Kung ayaw ko hindi ka makabayad, alis ka dyan. Ay, amin yung bahay mo. Amin yung lupa mo. Alin yung kalabaw mo. Kunin natin lahat. Dito, he was forgiven, he was released, he was set free. Parang scot free, walang kahit isang utang na nagawa itong tao nito. I pray you have, for, for the believers, for the Christians, meron nang parang ting, light na pumasok sa isipan niyo. Have you realized, have you also made such a, a comparison sa kasalanan natin? Na itong utang na ito ay katulad sa kasalanan natin before God that there is no hope na mababayaran natin itong kasalanan natin even if we live a million times on this earth. Because the more that we live, the more that we sin. 
And the more that we try to do righteous ways in order to pay for these sins, the more that we still commit transgressions before God. There is no hope, there is no probability, there is no possibility that we can pay for our sins. And this is actually what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us. You are like these servants, we are like these servants, I am like this servant. There is no hope for me to pay back kung anong nagawa kong kasalanan sa Panginoon. And it only requires the Lord Jesus Christ to pay for my sins. That's why kahit na isang payment, hindi ako nakapagbayad sa Panginoon. It's Christ who did this for me. He set me free. Scot free. Parang walang kasalanan. He made me a saint, a cleansed person before Him. Kahit na wala akong bayad na isang sentimo. Jesus paid it all. And in this example, the Lord, the Master, actually paid it all for that servant. Walang libre dito sa mundo. Diba? Kung pumunta ka sa isang lugar at sabi, sabihin, Oh, libre yung kain mo ngayon, libre. Libre ka nga, pero yung kasama mo yung nagbayad, di ba? Kung merong mga libre, mga free dyan, somebody paid for you. You say it is free for you, but somebody has given his strength, his sweat, in order to pay for that thing na naging libre ka. And so, when this man was set free at wala na siyang utang, ang amo niya ang nag receive ng lahat ng burden sa kanyang utang at siya yung naging sacrifice. He paid all this on that servant's behalf. That's why this forgiveness na binigay ng Panginoon dito is an example of a heavenly sourced forgiveness. Dito sa lupa, walang kahit ganitong klaseng forgiveness. Kahit na anong magandang o mabait ng tao, walang klaseng forgiveness na makapagbigay ng ganitong klase na walang kahit na kunti, hindi siya makabayan, pinapatawad lahat. Now, this person who receives such forgiveness should be one who, yung narealize niya, ang laki ng aking utang, pinapatawad pa ako, sana yung puso niya ay isang puso na so caring and so forgiving also unto others. But tingnan natin kung anong nangyari. And this is actually a picture also of us. And I, when I reflected of this passage, also I see myself in this example. Bakit? When that same servant, yung pinatawad, di ba? Pinatawad na siya. Ang laki ng kahit niyang utang, pinatawad siya. Wala, parang wala siyang nagawang kasalanan. Parang wala siyang utang kahit isang sentimo, kasi kahit isang dinay. Pero yung nakita niya, yung isang kasamahan niya na lingkod na nagkautang sa kanya ng magkano? 100 pence. Itong pence dito yung, yung word na denario. Denari. 100 denario. Sa ating estimation kanina, yung 1 denario is 1 day wage. So that means nagkautang siya ng worth ng 100 days of wages. 100 days. Probably 3 months or more. Yun lang yung utang compare sa 160,000 years worth of wages na utang ng lingkod na ito, ng, ng slave na ito, sa kanyang amo. Pero nung nakita niya yung isang kasamahan niya, nagkautang lang sa kanya ng 100 worth of denari. Anong ginawa niya? Oh, he laid his hands. Kinuha niya, ikaw! Tapos sina, sinakal pa and took him by the throat saying, bayaran mo yung utang mo! <sighs> Pay me that thou owest. Alam mo anong ginawa ng servant na ito? Sana... Yung, yung pinapatawad na servant nakita sana, sana niya yung sarili niya dahil yung ginawa niya before his master ito rin ang ginawa ng kanyang kasamahan before him anong ginawa? the fellow servant fell down at his feet nakatapa din 100 days lang yung utang niya 
nakadapa din siya sa harapan ng, uh, ng servant na ito and besought him and probably sana na-remember niya yung kanyang sariling salita the words that he gave or he spoke to this sa kanyang amo ay pariho din sa sinasabi ng ng servant na yan sinabi niya have patience with me and I will pay thee all ito yun yung sinabi niya di ba? tingnan niyo dito sa verse 26 Lord have patience with me and I will pay thee all it, tingnan niyo sa verse 29 have patience with me and I will pay thee all itong tao na ito yung pangalawang servant he is so honest to tell na pwede niyang bayaran 100 days lang pwede niyang magkabayan ng 100 days pwede siya magkabayan itong tao na ito he promised to pay the all kahit na hindi, alam niya hindi, niya, hindi siya makabayan pero ang ginawa ng pinatawad na servant and he would not ayaw niya hindi ba niya na, na, na remember yung kanyang ginawa at pagkatapos pinapatawad siya ngayon katulad sa ginawa niya ginawa din ng kasamahan niya pero ayaw niya but he was so cruel, more cruel than any others because instead of allowing him, kung sana sinabi niya, I will pay the all, o sige, magtrabaho ka ng 100 days, bayaran mo ako. Anong ginawa niya? He was so cruel na hindi niya nirelease na magtrabaho, dinalapan niya sa priso, sa bilangguan. E paano siya magkapagtrabaho doon? Di palagi yung nagano yung utang, hindi siya magkabay dahil dinala sa priso. If he, he was so kind and so understanding alam ko kung gusto mo akong bayaran 100 days lang yung utang mo sa akin sige magtrabaho ka bayaran mo ako pag, pag dating ng panahon pero anong ginawa niya dinala doon sa pilangguan dinala doon sa prison he was cast into prison till that he should pay the debt paano na ngayon so when his fellow servants saw what was done ah, siguro sa akin I hope you 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 see no Na naintindihan niyo ba yung story ng line of story? Nakita niyo yung napaka-ipokrito ng tao nito, pinapatawad ng laki ng kanyang utang pagkatapos may malit na utang sa kasamahan niya, ayaw niyang papatawarin. Kung tayo makita, so sabi ng ibang mga servants sa fellow servants, so what was that? They were very sorry. Paano ba, ba bakit ba nagawa niya ito? And came and told unto your Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O the wicked servant! Tama itong sinabi ng kanyang amo. You are so wicked, I forgave thee all the debt because thou desirest me. Binigyan kita. Binaforgive kita. But then, shouldest not thou also have compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? This example is not only for heaven-bound believers, and this example can be performed by, the, by a heaven-sourced forgiveness, but we must understand forgiveness is based on heavenly things. It is heavenly-based. And sabi dito ng kanyang amo, so lie on by the Lord Jesus Christ in verse 35, so likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you if you from your hearts, forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Pinapatawad kita. Ang daming utang mo, malaki ng utang mo, hindi mo kayang babayaran yan. I give you the favor, but then after that, you did not even have the heart to forgive these other servants. This is actually a picture of many of us even I myself would say this is a picture of me. Because there are many times in my life that I don't want to forgive others. I don't want to forgive those who have hurt me, those who have opposed me, those who have objected me, those who have done wrong against me. And yet, I did not recall kung gaano kalaki yung kasalanan ko against God at pinatawad pa rin niya ako. I don't have any hope. I don't have any 
thing to do, any righteousness that I can present to God so that I can be cleansed and can be forgiven. Yet God in His mercy sent His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, to forgive me and to cleanse me from all my sins. Yung mga ibang tao dyan nagkasala sa akin, ayaw kong papatawarin. I don't even try to look at them. I don't even try to forgive them. This is a lesson that must be understood by all those who have received forgiveness from God. If we are truly Christians, if we are truly believers, if we are truly heaven bound, we must understand that our forgiveness is heaven sourced. It can give forgiveness because we have received it from heaven and we must be careful to do it honestly, objectively, and with justice because we know judgment will come if we will not do it from our hearts. We are and we must be people who can forgive. It's not easy. Especially kung yung mga tao na kasala sa atin ay unrepentant. Especially those people who will not acknowledge na nagkagawa sila ng kasalanan. I know a uh, uh, member before in our Filipino Bible study in the other church was difficult in forgiving her husband because um, nakita niya sa harap, harap niya ginawa yung mga kabastusan with other women. And this is a picture na we can always see around. There are many times na mahirapan natin may forgive yung iba dahil they are also people who are not willing to repent and to say sorry. Pero kahit na nagawa ito nila sa atin, we must be people who are ready to forgive. That the moment they will come to us and seek for the forgiveness of what we have done against us, we are able to forgive. That is the forgiving spirit of every Christian. Yes, they cannot be forgiven if they will not repent of their sins, but our hearts are always willing to forgive, ready to give what they will ask from us when they repent and say sorry of their sins. There are many hindrances there are many disadvantages. This, there are many effects in and impacts in the life of the believer if we are not people who will forgive. First of all, God will not hear our prayers if we are people who bear grudges. Paano ka magdadasal dyan? Nagpipray ka. Galit, mo, galit yung puso mo, galit yung isipan mo sa ibang mga kapatid mo. And your life will be wasted because you will not be used by God in the many opportunities na bibigyan ka niya na mag, magbigay o magdala ng salita ng Diyos sa iba. You will fail because you are not a worthy instrument. You are sinning and you don't want to acknowledge na nagkasala ka because you still have that hatred. When we hate others, when we have grudges over others, when we have this unforgiving spirit, the first thing that we have to reconcile ourselves is to reconcile ourselves unto God. Not to be proud of ourselves that they have to come to us and kneel down and worship us and seek for forgiveness. First and foremost, we ourselves must reconcile to God and seek for the forgiveness of our sins that we hated, we have grudges, we wanted revenge against others. So una, dito is we have to seek forgiveness to God, the Father. Dahil sinasabi dito sa verse 35, Likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother in trespasses. We must ask, after that asking of forgiveness, we must ask God to grant us the spirit of forgiveness. Because we cannot do it by our own. Kahit na sasabihin mong pinapatawad ko na siya o pinapatawad ko na yung taong ito, when we remember the deeds that He has done before, babalik pa rin yun. And when the, there is no spirit of forgiveness in our hearts, we can dwell in it and 
again, be hating and be unforgiving. So first, we have to ask for forgiveness from God and then seek for the Lord to grant us the spirit to forgive. And then we have to also see the reality of ourselves. Na kahit na tayo, daily, araw-araw, sa buhay natin, nagkasala tayo against God. We sin against God. Do you realize that? As believers, even though we are saints in the eyes of God, we know we sin against God every day. And yet, yung nagkasala tayo, hindi tayo nag, ano, may lightning na patay ka. No, God still granted us, buhay pa tayo ngayon, kahit na ilang kasalanan na nagawa natin ngayong araw nito. And yet, God is so merciful and kind to wait for your sorry. Pero itong tao sa tabi natin, kahit na nag-sorry siya, sorry ka! Eh, ang sorry ka yan! Kaya tayo, ha? Kung yan sa atin, sabihin ng Panginoon sa atin. I, I know, and I'm thankful na hindi ganyan yung Panginoon. But we have also to understand ganun din ang dapat natin gawin sa iba. And with this example of forgiveness, I pray the Lord will help us to understand we need to forgive. Hindi natin kaya sa sarili natin. We cannot do it by our own. Kahit na anong, anong puso na try natin, no, we cannot do it. Our heart is wicked. Our heart is full of hatred. We need the Spirit of God to help us to be able to forgive others. And once, work, uh, once God will work in our hearts, we have to understand also how God is forgiving us. And I pray we'll be not like this servant who is always looking and trying to find fault with others. Hindi niya nakita yung kanyang sarili, ang laki ng kanyang nagawa against his master. He was forgiven and yet he was not able to forgive others. May the Lord help us. May the Lord grant us the understanding and may the Lord change our lives. May this will not only be a meditation for this afternoon but let it be a meditation that will continue to linger in our hearts to remind us I must forgive others for God has forgiven me greatly even it cannot be, I can imagine how He has forgiven me such sins. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank thee, Lord, for your example that you have given us through thy word. Indeed, O God, thy word is full of good words for us that we may be directed to do which is right and correct and pleasing before thee. Help us to read thy words and meditate upon it and have it always in our hearts and in our mind that we may not sin against thee. And Lord, as we continue to worship thee, we pray, Father, may you remind those who are not here that may they will come next time that they may hear thy word and be blessed. Those who are here, O oh Lord, may thy spirit will work in each of our hearts that truly we will remember thy words, not the words of man, not the words of the preacher, but the words of God coming from thy scriptures. We pray and ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let us arise to sing our last hymn. He took my sins away. And I pray we will realize this. How God took our sins away. Why can't we let others be forgiven also of their sins against us? Hymn 133.
Loving Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for thy Son, Lord Jesus Christ, who took our sins away. And really, Lord, he paid all of our sins, and we have this hope of life eternal in him. As we have received so great and amazing grace and love from him by, for, by receiving forgiveness of all our sins, may we be people also who are able to forgive others. Help us, O oh Lord, to live this week and the rest of our days with forgiving spirit as we understand that we are also people who are forgiven by thee through thy son Lord Jesus Christ help us Lord to remember thy goodness and thy mercy upon us and help us O oh God to pray for one another and help those who are not here with us today they may come again next Sunday and those who are here Lord bless them with that with thy richest blessings and that they may be here together with us next week to glorify and honor thee for thy goodness upon our lives we give you praise and thanksgiving for all these things through your son our lord and savior jesus christ amen